What's what up, Dougie Dougie crew? crew? I'm Raven. I'm Sydney. And this, this is Draco. Nickname Diablo. His full name is King Draco Dior Douglas. Pretty ghetto, but the Dougie crew, as we are. I know in our previous video we talked about we're gonna have the story of us. So we're gonna talk about this one today. So like most relationships nowadays, they come from the internet. Yeah. So we definitely met each other. Can you stop licking yourself? <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. But um, we met each other on Tinder. I'm pretty sure I swipe right first. Yeah, you swipe right first. Because when I swipe, it was like, it's a match. But yeah, I wasn't looking for none of it. I was, I had just moved here from Arkansas, but I'm born in Chicago. And she came from. I came from Fayetteville. But yeah, Fayetteville, born in Fayetteville, raised, mm, raised in Columbia, South Carolina. But I don't know, I went through something very traumatic in my life that I won't talk about on this video, but caused me to get on Tinder. And I swiped right, I seen her, I was like, oh, she's cute. Mind you, she's the first girl I've ever talked to. So I was like, let's see how this goes or where this goes. And. The funny thing is, I didn't swipe right on you. My homie swiped right. So he was on my Tinder, and he was just like, oh, cause we had just moved down here and we was bored. We lived in this big old house, and we was like, we ain't got nothing to do, we ain't had no friends. We all came from Arkansas, so we were like, you know, let's find some honey dips down here, you know, just to mess with and dip on. So as I'm swiping right, he's swiping right, it landed on her. She was texting back fast. I mean, like, straight. Send a message, boop, back. I'm like, damn. Your ass was interested as hell. I was. Whole time, I was just trying to get in, get out. But, you know, clearly, it didn't happen that way. Yeah. And then, like, it got to a point where we was, like, texting for, like, weeks. And I was like, dang, like, are we going to be freaking pen pals forever? <laughs> and he was like, all right, let's go on a date. Mind you, I planned this date. Still showed up late twice, and the reason why. Okay, I have a. I have Hold a on, I feel like we got a bag back. Like how many times have we like tried to meet each other but we didn't? Cause you were supposed to come to my house and cook. I think I like dubbed that one. Yeah. And then we were supposed to go to the movies. I like never responded. And then I text you and was like, "Hello, stranger." I would text like my texting skills are pretty. Bless you. Bless you. My texting skills are pretty bad, so when she would text me, I wouldn't be trying to dub her, but then again, like, in the beginning of us talking, I, I was messing with other people too, so it's like, I was talking to her, but then I was talking to other people. Well, I wasn't talking to her like that, she was cool. I didn't want nothing. I didn't come down to California today because I came out here to work, so. But, like, she was very persistent. I think that's what I liked it. Even though I suck at texting, she should have dubbed me low key the third day. Because after the second day, I like stopped replying. I may hit a good morning back after I got the text message, but throughout the day, I'm like, ah, I got other stuff to do. <laughs> like, I had other things to do. So, but she was very persistent. So, after a few dubs and a few not text backs, we actually met up at the movie theaters here in California. And uh, the reason why I came so late is because like, I literally tried on like, I say 20 different outfits. Like I called my I called my best friend Destiny. I was just like, hey, should I wear this shoe? Just like, girl, do you want to be skimpy or do you want to look sophisticated? I was like, well, this is my first time meeting her. She, she was like, well, what did she tell you to wear? She said, be comfortable but cute. So I'm sitting here like comfortable but cute. I'm not finna wear this like sweat, a sweatpants outfit. So I was like, okay. I ended up wearing, I'll show y'all what I ended up wearing. I'll, po I'll put a little video to where y'all see what I wore. <laughs> and uh, apparently, when I showed up, I'm thinking that I'm cute, but Sydney later tells me that- uh, Those ankles was ashy <laughs> as hell. She had her leggings, y'all, but she had her ankles showing and like the balls of her feet. 
Them hoes was so damn ashy, Lord. I could have played tic tac on that motherfucker. See, Diablo. I could have played tic tac toe, and then her little wig that's supposed to be sitting pizza was a little over here. <laughs> but like, I tried my best to ignore that, but I was already a little hot because she scheduled a, a movie time, and then she missed it. Then she scheduled another movie time, and she missed that one. So by the third time, she lucky I would only live what three minutes away from the movie theater because yeah. I wouldn't have showed up. I thought she was trying to dub me. Slick thought she was trying to dub me. Nah. I just really like wanted to impress you and dress nicely. And um, yeah, it caused me to be late. Have I been Twice. late? Have I been late since then? To a date? Nah. Okay. Period. <laughs> but um, yeah, apparently when I showed up, she was texting her little friends in her group chat saying how ashy my ankles was. And they all smiled in my face, didn't tell me this until like a couple weeks later, or a couple months later. My friends are my friends, not yours. I know, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, but still like, you didn't even have to tell, you even have to do me like that. One, I said more, a lot more than your ankles was ashy. I said that your ankles was ashy, that your wig was crooked, but your butt was humongous. Was that wrong? No. And she's tall. She loves to say that she's 5'5". Five, five. I'm 5'5". Five, five. She's like 5'9". I'm not 5'9". And five, she's nine. not trying to hear it. I'm not 5'9". I've been 5'4 for the rest of, since I was born. If you're 5'4", I'm 5'1". No, Destiny's 5'1". You're not the shorter than You're that. not 5'4". I say I'm 5'6". You're 5'9". You're tall as hell. Why you want to be short? Cause I've been short all my life. I don't want to grow. <laughs> I've been considered short all my life. You got, you can't just change the stereotype for me. Whatever. But um, <clears throat> what did we go see? Who? I don't even remember. Maleficent. Was Maleficent her first video? I don't know. It might have been. I don't know. I don't know. We've seen a lot of movies together. No, Maleficent was a movie that like I went to see and I started crying. So yeah. we had, I wouldn't have cried on our first date because I cried a lot. I wouldn't have cried on our first date. It had to be like a funny movie or something. I don't remember. But I remember you pushing me up the stairs and I almost. I wasn't, I don't think I was pushing you. I think I was trying to help you get up the stairs and you just tripped because you got two left feet. You still got two left feet. You just gonna let her talk about me like that? She's like, I would just do wish y'all shut the hell up so I can go back to sleep. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I don't remember what we saw. But I know after the movies, I took it to a restaurant down here. See, we live in a small town, which I'm not going to say what small town we live in. But we live in a small town, so I took it to this cafe. And we ate. No, we actually went to two movie theaters. Because the first movie we went to, they only had seats in the front. And, yeah, and I ain't sitting in no seat with my whole neck. Hissy fit. I ain't about. sitting in no seat with my neck like this. So I'm like, no, nah, that's a dub. So I told her to follow me to another movie theater down here. And I think she don't know how to drive because I was hitting only like 70 on the highway. She swore I was hitting like 90. Couldn't catch up. Or she said I was breaking too hard. Oh yeah, what was your, <laughs> what was your freaking nickname, Babyface? Uh, no. Heavy Foot Babyface? Heavy Foot Babyface, she said I break too hard when I drive. Which, I don't understand how she saying that I break too hard if she couldn't keep up with me. She couldn't keep up so much I had to send her to Addy to the movie theater. It was only 10 minutes away, but. Yeah, I don't, I honestly don't remember what we say, but we went to this little cafe. We sat and talked at the cafe for what, three hours? And then she had to drive home because she 
used to live 40 minutes away from me. Yeah. She currently lives with me and Draco. So. Good morning. It's Easter Sunday. We are sorry for not posting our video yesterday, but we got tied up in some stuff. And we realized that our video was too long, so that way we're cutting it in half and doing a one part one that we're gonna drop today. And then probably part two. When you wanna drop part two? Uh, we could drop part two Wednesday. Yeah. But it was just extremely too long. I'll, I won't watch a 20 minute video even with me in it, so I know nobody else will. Yeah. So, all we doing is walking. I can't even turn the goddamn camera around. Okay, well, we're walking Draco. <laughs> I just watched my church service. I already know. Feeling very enlightened. I needed that. No? Finding the positives and stuff. Yeah, we definitely about to go for a run and we hope y'all enjoy.